Congratulations on your new Handy Quilter Moxie ST. You will love stitching on this stationary quilting machine with 18 inches of brightly lit throat space. The color display has a touch screen to easily navigate and customize your machine settings. Adjust the table to your perfect height. You can comfortably sit or stand while you move your quilt across the smooth, spacious surface. Take charge of your stitches with Insight technology, which allows two settings of stitch regulation. Let me show you all of these features and more in the new Handy Quilter Moxie ST. We've made it really easy for you to set up your Insight table and your Moxie ST. We've partnered with the Built app. If you download that onto your phone and then search for Handy Quilter, choose the Moxie ST and follow those instructions there, you'll have your machine set up in no time. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. In the box is the machine, which we've already set up on the table. Then you have your bobbin winder, the Insight table insert, which we'll show you how to install in just a minute. And then we have the accessory kit. Let's take a look at what's inside here. This is the Insight Table Insert. This is what gives you that great stitch regulation. Let's take a closer look at it. We have these little brackets here on the side with slots that correspond with knobs inside the Insight Table to hold this securely in place. You also want to be aware while you're installing this of this cable. Make sure that it stays flush against the underside of the insert so that it doesn't get pinched. It's easiest to install the insert with two people. Carefully line up the slots here on the brackets with the knobs in the table, and don't forget to hold the cord at the back out of the way. Gently lower it down into place, and then slide it from the front to the back. And then at this point, you can adjust the machine by pulling it gently towards you so that the edges of the machine here are flush against the insert. Follow the instructions in the Built app for installing the screen. Let's install the spool pin first. You also need a small nut and a washer. We will take the small washer and place it inside the little hole for it. Then we'll screw the nut securely onto the bottom of the spool pin. Then go ahead and screw it in to the machine. You can use the wrench to tighten it so that it's nice and secure. Let's install the thread mask next. Go ahead and place the nut on the bottom and there's a washer that is slightly larger that fits perfectly where the thread mask goes. We'll go ahead and screw it in. And to ensure that it's nice and secure and the loop on the thread mast is facing towards the front of the machine, you can hold it in place and then use the wrench to tighten the nut to keep it in the proper position. The final step is to plug in the insert to the back of the machine. Next, let's install the power cord. It has these red clips on the side of it to hold it securely in place. It goes right here underneath the power switch. Press it firmly in place. We recommend plugging in your machine to a surge protector. And don't forget, when you're not using your machine and it's turned off, unplug it from the wall to protect your machine. To install the foot pedal, simply, Take this and plug it in right there. Then you can set the foot pedal on the floor underneath the table in a comfortable position for you to quilt.
Now we're ready to turn on the machine. Simply flip this switch. Let's walk through the screen on the display. This number here in the center is the stitches per inch when you're in stitch regulation. Right now, we're currently in precision. We also have cruise, which then has two settings. This setting is our stitches per inch, and this setting is our motor speed. You can also choose to use manual, which means that you are the stitch regulator, and we have different presets. You can change these if you want to. There's two different ones here that you can change. This button is our start and stop button. If you touch this button, the machine turns on and starts stitching and you can tap it to turn it off or you can tap the foot pedal to turn it off. You can also use the foot pedal by pressing on it to start and stop the machine. This area right here is our needle down or needle up position for when the, when the machine stops. Right now, it's currently in the position that when I stop stitching, the needle will be up. If I tap this button here, the needle will be down when I stop stitching. Let's take a look at the menu. If I tap the three buttons up there, first of all, we have our light adjustment. There are lights on this machine at the needle and inside the throat space, and they adjust together. By simply touching the plus or minus button, I can adjust the brightness of the lights or even completely turn them off. Next, I have my stitch information. So this is my stitch counter, which I can reset by tapping the C button. This one here is my lifetime stitch count. This is the overspeed alarm. We can either turn it on or turn it off. This lets me know if I'm stitching faster than the stitch regulator. The eye gives me all the information about the software on the machine. This is my machine. This is the lights, the motors, the screen, and the insight sensors. This is for diagnostic purposes. You most likely only use this machine if you call in for help from Technical Solutions or your local retailer. And this last button here is where we do updates. You can choose to do an update on four different items. We have the machine updates, motor updates, screen updates, and insight sensor updates. From this menu to return back to the home screen, simply tap the home in the top here. To do any updates on your Moxie ST, simply tilt the display screen up and then insert the USB that you've downloaded the update onto into this slot here. Then follow the instructions that are in the Moxie ST instruction manual on how to run an update. This is your bobbin case. There is a spring in the back of it. You want to make sure that that spring stays in there so that you have proper tension in your bobbin. To install a bobbin, we're going to take the bobbin and have it so that the thread is coming off in either a number nine or you can do a B for bobbin so that it will turn clockwise. We pop it into the bobbin case and then pull the thread up through the slit on the side and underneath the spring. To test the tension, lay it down flat in your hand and then grab the thread and pull up. If it lifts completely out of your hand, the tension is too tight. Use the small screwdriver that came in your accessory kit to adjust this screw, the larger one. There's two screws here on your bobbin screen, on your bobbin spring. It's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, and it's very small movements. So I'm going to loosen this just a little bit and then give it a test again. Once the bobbin stands up smoothly in your hand, just like this, and you can pull it out, it's ready to be put into the machine.
But first, you always want to put a drop of oil in the bobbin race before popping in your bobbin case. Let me show you where to put the drop of oil. Place one drop of oil right here every time you change your bobbin. Then we'll pop in the bobbin case. Do not hold out the little lever while you're popping it in. The little notch goes towards the top. Put it in and then listen for the click. Here's a fun extra feature on the Moxie ST. There's a hidden magnet right here to hold your scissors in place to keep them handy while you're quilting. The last step before quilting is to thread the machine. Place your cone or spool of thread here and then we'll go up through the thread mast. Come down to the three hole thread guide. You thread from the back and then loop around and go from the back to the front again in all three holes. Next, we'll go through this thread guide right above the tensioner. If you grasp the thread on both sides, you can easily pop it in there. Next, we're gonna go into the tension disc here. Now this is very important. You need to get it inside the two tension discs and it's like flossing. You need to pop it up in there. Then catch the check spring. Make sure when you pull on the thread at this point that this small spring is moving. We'll go under the stirrup guide and then up and through the take-up lever from the back to the front. From there, we come down to the pigtail thread guide. We can just wrap it right in there. Next, we go through the needle bar thread guide. We go from the front down through, then thread the needle from the front to the back. Now we're ready to set our tension and start quilting. Let's change the needle. We'll pull a needle out of one of the packages that came with the machine, then loosen the thumb screw here. You may need to use the Allen wrench. Pull the needle out and set it to the side. Pull a new needle out of the package. Then let's make sure that the needle is turned in the proper direction. There's a long groove down the front. You can take your thumbnail and run it along it. Make sure that that is facing towards you as you insert the needle up into the needle bar. Here's a little trick. You can take the end of the previous needle and place it inside the hole and use it to straighten and hold the needle in place, like a lever. Get the eye of the needle pointing straight towards you, then tighten it with your fingers, and then use your Allen wrench and just do a quarter turn to make sure it's nice and snug. These are the inside stitch regulators. We want to make sure that they're both covered while we're quilting, so we always recommend that you have at least three to four inches of backing fabric and batting larger than the quilt top so that you can quilt clear to the edge and ensure that those sensors are covered. We're ready to start quilting. Here's a quick tip. To bring your bobbin thread up from the bottom, you can simply tap the needle down button on the screen twice and then move the machine slightly to the side and pull up that bobbin thread. If you hold on to both of them, and you can even touch that needle down button again and just hold it in place, do a couple of tack stitches, and then you're ready to start stitching. You can turn the machine on to start stitching by either putting your foot on the foot pedal and pushing down, or you can touch the start button on the screen, and then you're ready to go ahead and start quilting. Let's get the boxy bobbin winder set up so we can wind a bobbin. We'll take the spool pin and screw it into this hole here. Then the thread mast, the telescoping thread mast, will screw in right here. You plug it in and it's ready to use. Here's how to wind a bobbin. We'll place the thread on the spool pin and then run it up through the thread mast. 
we come down and through this small hole here on the back of the bobbin winder, we'll pull the thread. And then wrap it securely into the tension discs. Next, we'll pull the tail of the thread through one of the slots on the bobbin. Place the bobbin on the small pin there, then tap the start button. If I hold the thread up after a short period of time while it's winding, it will snap off. The bobbin winder will stop by itself or I can hit stop when it's as full as I'd like it to. Now you're ready to use this bobbin to start quilting. I hope you enjoy your new Moxie ST and finish lots of great quilts. For more great educational ideas, be sure to check out Handy Quilter YouTube channel and have fun quilting.